So I woke up this morning feeling really sad and overwhelmed for no good reason. So I'm treating myself to a day of wearing sweatpants and uh, refurbishing this old fire alarm. This video is sponsored by 80,000 Hours. I've spent the last couple of weeks trying to come up with an idea for a build. And I just want it to be something that's like interesting and cool and impressive. And I just have not been able to come up with anything. What I tell other people if they have a hard time coming up with ideas is that like, oh, you've probably set the bar too high. So I'm gonna practice what I preach. And I'm just gonna turn this into a key holder for my hallway. And I'm gonna pour a bunch of love into it as a way of pouring love into myself. So let's uh, pick it apart and clean it up. Please stop. So I got this at a flea market in upstate New York and it has this brass mechanism that is so gorgeous and stunning that I never wanna be seen next to it at a party. I'm gonna save this for another sad rainy day and turn you into something else. A couple of weeks ago, my mom was in town and I was like, how can we use your love for me in the most efficient way possible? So she helped me put up wallpaper in my dining room slash hallway and that's where the key holder is gonna go. So I'm just gonna tape up my keys so you can't see them because from very early on in my career, I learned that if you put up a photo of your keys, people can actually copy them off of that photo. So have fun with that. This is like the key version of wearing pasties. Oh, this is too big. Wait, why? It's my stupid car key. I bought a new car. I bought a Volvo and I've named her Volvla because I got to stick with my naming convention. So we've got Truckla, we got Campla, and now we also have Volvla. I was able to make Volvla's key fit better in the fire alarm by hanging it from a chain rather than the key loop itself. Problem solved. I don't know if building things is an established self-care practice, but so much of my self-worth is linked to how productive I am, and sometimes I just need to give myself a small one to feel better. I've been feeling really overwhelmed lately, and by lately I mean like the last 20 years. I just feel like I'm constantly behind on something, but what I'm trying to remind myself is that if I'm behind on something, it's usually because I've been prioritizing something else that's also important. Like, if you haven't gone to the gym recently, it might be because you prioritize being there for your family. I also haven't been going to, I, I need to go to the gym more often. Do you think I should clean the paint off or not and repaint it? No. No? I'm still gonna, I'm gonna clean it cause like it's dirty. like a weirdo. I could drill a hole in the metal and then tap the hole, but I don't have a tap that's small enough for this. Instead, I think I'm gonna put a piece of plywood in the back and like screw the hooks into that. But I want it to feel elegant and satisfying. <laughs> that's my main goal for this build is to feel like, oh, wow, I'm doing things right. I got my life under control. And now I'm just doing this in the same way I always do shit. Just 
just chaos. If I had to give career advice to my younger self, embrace the chaos would be exactly the type of vague and cryptic thing I'd like to tell her. I remember when I was working as an editor for the Swedish government and I kept telling myself that I needed to be okay with how slow things were. But then I realized that I could have a job where it was good that I wanted a lot of things to happen, where it was a strength rather than a weakness. So um, embrace the chaos, young Simone, which is a really good segue to this video sponsor. There are a lot of different ways to have a positive impact in this world. You can donate money, you can do volunteer work, you can tell Scraps that she's a good girl, and all of that is great. But if you're looking for something that is more effective, one of the most impactful choices you can make is your career. You spend on average 80,000 hours on your work and 80,000 hours, the organization is a nonprofit that helps people find fulfilling careers that also have a positive impact in this world. Most career advice is very cookie cutter. Like it focuses on a few very well-known paths. 80,000 hours on the other hand have been conducting research alongside academics at Oxford University for the last 10 years to find what the most positively impactful careers are. They provide guides and research and a job board. So it's so much more than just like empty platitudes of like, follow your passion and uh, embrace the chaos. And the best part is that it's all for free. So if you're starting to plan out your career or you're looking to maybe change careers or you know somebody who's considering their options, go to 80,000hours.org slash Simone to learn more. Thanks 80,000 hours. You want to see what Laura got me for my birthday? It's like a finishing kit with all these little files and stuff and yeah. She's a genius. <laughs> always imagining that my best life is a couple of years ahead, when my product business is bigger, when I have a family, when I finally learn to only give fucks to things that fuck me back. And I have to remind myself that today is just as much a part of my life as tomorrow. And the way I choose to honor today is by scraping potential lead-laden paint off of this old fire alarm. Carpe diem, motherfuckers. I should just go up and get my palm sander, but I'm like a little bit too lazy to go and get it because it's up at the house. The lengths which I will go to to avoid doing something that would make things go easier. It's, it's impressive. I'll just do it by hand instead. Nah, fuck this, that's stupid. Why did we even get these? I don't know. I think maybe it was for the, for the class. Well, if you have any ping pong related uh, projects, let me know. Dear Pass Simone, please tell me that you bought white. Oh, yep. Got it.
Or do we like it? Hmm? Let me go get a thing real quick. Let me just get through the ninja warrior <laughs> course <laughs> to get up to the loft. Oh, here you go. Because I also have this guy. So this is what I used for my sunglasses. Let's just commit a felony. Did you hear that child scream in the background? <laughs> undivided attention in like a second. I think it looks so cool and I feel like it definitely goes well with the ambiance of <laughs> everything else. I just had the best time comfort building. Thanks for spending the day with me. Or maybe it was two days and I just wore the same clothes two days in a row. You will never know. Okay, bye. <coughs> <coughs> Wait, sorry, I just ate a nut and then I inhaled it. Okay, bye!